Welcome to Crews of TV, an invitation-only network for TV crew and production. Members are vouched for by one another, and they have a minimum of 10 years' experience in the senior categories. Our concept is local people everywhere. So if you look at our first site, which is New Zealand, Australia, Asia, we're currently building the other site, so please keep an eye out. If you are interested, please hit contact and... Um, feel free to get a hold of me. You can keep track with what we're doing through the newsletter and of course our guys always have lots of interesting things to say in the forum. So let's take the first step. So we're going to New Zealand. And this is the New Zealand site. Um, it's 10 years old and uh, the group is uh, very active. They're probably the most uh, visible on the forum. And you can see um, the public forums and the members only forums are quite busy. Now what I've done is uh, I've signed us up for a little tour. First name public visitor, enter, and what I've received was a validation email. Now before I do that, I just want to show you that you actually don't need to um, register in order to visit our site. You simply go straight in. Um, uh, in this particular case, Jeff has all his information, so you certainly don't need to be a uh, registered user to have access to this. In fact, I can just hit send message and um, Jeff can um, hear from us. What you do get is um, a basic email form, which is good. You can search for our crew, so all everything is the same. You can also look through our facilities. Um, these are endorsed facilities by us, so feel free to use our services. You can even navigate between the sites. However, I'll just click validate, and here we are. We're registered as a public visitor. Now, what's the difference? Well, let's just go back to Jeff's profile here. So I now have access to um, his full contact details. In Matt's case, he's offered up quite a bit more, uh, including his agent and diary, uh, his website, and uh, his Skype and Facebook. So this is all great. Now, if you hit send a message, you notice that things are slightly different. You now have this text message ability, um, which is fantastic because if you want to send Matt an urgent message, you can simply give him a short note and uh, the SMS, and it will always be sent alongside with the email. So you can be guaranteed that he'll get it. Attach file, what's that good for? Well, it's good for call sheets. So you can easily put your call sheets on its way, send the call sheet, and in fact, if you wanted to, you could do that for your entire crew. Come up here, load the group, and uh, this could be uh, linked to a production, or it could be linked, in fact, to just your A list and B list of people you go through the list. Now, that was the recently updated list. And of course, you can search for your group. But in order to save you time from doing that all the time, we've created this hot list. Now, I've already added Matt to my hot list. There he is. Um, but I could go back. And in fact, uh, let's see. Wendy is fantastic. I'll just add her to my hot list. I can see here that she has dates available. <laughs> so it's all good. And here's Ben. And I'll add him to my hot list. So here we go back in our hot list. So I want to send them an email, but I realize that uh, I'm missing someone. I'm missing someone who's not a member. So I'll just uh, fill in that his or her details. And I've added Joe Public. Uh, this is a person that I use a lot, so I'll save them. They are now in my hot list. Oh, but let's say Joe's very important cameraman. I'll put them at the top. Here we go. Let's send an email again, shall we? Joe, Matt, Wendy, Ben, text message. You're my A guys. Can you please work for me on Saturday? Attach the file. Here's the script. And send. And that's it. You're done. It takes 30 seconds. You're contacting crew. What else can I say? Most important of all, 
you need to load up your settings now. Um, I just did a pretend text message. However, if you don't put a genuine cell phone number here, it will not send a text message. In fact, you need to test a text has been sent. Please test this. Um, if you get the international dialing wrong, it will not send. Also, it's probably a really good idea to change your password to something you know right away. And of course, a postal address is really important and accompanying your email signature. Um, this will be attached to your email so you can preload whoever you're working for to make sure everything goes right. And I can confirm that my text message has arrived so I know it's working. Save your changes. Now we're up and running. You can navigate between the sites. It keeps your login and of course now I'm in Australia. I'm looking at Mal. Mal is a fantastic cameraman. Look at this. He's even got videos up. I'll have to look at those. They look great. And I can add him to my hot list. So it means I don't have to navigate between the sites to keep my favorite people. We all know that um, uh, it's now an international stage, so we all want um, people from all over the world. Um, Simon's great. He's looking through. He's got a few great videos as well. I always get a laugh down here somewhere. Yeah, there you go, him and Nicole Kidman, him and his brother. Early days, master and commander, fantastic. So here we go, so I should just go back to, let's go back to New Zealand, yeah. And last but not least, least sign up for our newsletter. It's the best way to keep in touch.